all right so in today's class we'll look at all retouching tools and how to use them during retouching okay so um, i have a video of how the retouching tools but in order to make the video very short i'm going to be picking some that are very very important and you are going to likely come across and use all the time okay so let's get started this image very um, popular image from dirty studio okay so now the first retouching tool i'm going to talk about is the mark call tool i came across this tool um not quite long I mean, last three weeks okay so it's called the rectangular um, macro tool so what this does is it allows you to cover places that are distracting take a look at this left side we have this stand and we have people over here so this is what you need to do when using this tool let's first of all duplicate the layer so we do a before and after now you need to select a place i'm just going to select this side make sure it's not coming out of the um the area you want to extend so it's used for extending places so i'm just gonna you can hold down space and then move then if you release your space button once you you can release your space button once you have the place covered now the most important part is is to select the place you want to extend now i've selected this place how do i extend it to cover all the space it's very simple just hold down ctrl t and it's going to bring up the transform for it so it's going to bring on the transform you can see the transform now to use this you're not just going to drag it you're going to hold on shift and you're going to drag to the left like this and it's going to cover all that let's do it here once you've done this you can hold ctrl d to deselect now i'm going to do it here as well so use the rectangular mask call tool and it doesn't matter if the place is big i can even make a tiny one for example i can make it so small like this and move it like this and release so hold on ctrl t to bring up the transform hold on shift and drag and it's going to cover the rest place okay so that's for the rectangular macro tool now now you can see the depth over here you can as well use that like this Control T and you can hold down shift and drag and you're gonna cover it out. Now it's actually very easy for you to use here. This macro tool is also important for you when um, using composite, when doing compositing, putting of backgrounds and changing of um, backdrops. So we're still going to come across that during the course of the um, week when we're teaching the retouching um, classes. So that's for that. Now look at this other image. I'm going to grab the macro tool and I'm going to drag like this. Hold on Ctrl T. Do not forget. Hold on Shift and drag it up, and there it's gone. Okay, so I'm going to bring another image to the um, door. So what do you do when you have some image, an image like this? The same procedure, you know. Just drag. You can make it very tiny you can make it very big you can hold down space and drag it up and then drag it like this and then what do you need to do you just need to hold down ctrl t and it's going to bring up the transform drag shift and that's it's gone let's go back to this drag below and hold down ctrl t and hold down shift drag below and also this one hold down ctrl t drag up like that you can drag it just a little bit and sometimes you just need to select the subject but I, I i don't think i have all the time to do that but i'm just gonna quickly try and do this one just make a very small one ctrl t and drag it like that ctrl d select you see the plus button and i'm gonna do the last one very tiny like this Ctrl T and drag it up like that and we cover everywhere sometimes you select the subject and then you drag all those things and let's take for instance you want to remove all this to do the same procedure just like this Ctrl T and you drag it down below and there we go drag it below like that and that's for that but there is other way because it won't start looking it looks odd okay um there are other ways to other tools for you to use for that now 
this brings us to the next two 